By the time he was 18, he had traveled the world as a professional skateboarder. Then he lost it all to drugs. Former M MTV star and professional skateboarder Brandon Novak joined the factor to speak out about his battle with heroin addiction and the shocking admission about how he sold his body on the street of Baltimore. The book is called Dream Seller by Brandon Novak, and he joins us here on The Factor Uncensored. Obviously, you had a storied career. Yes. I mean. And uh, you were at the top of your success, and then something happened. Yeah, you know. As a skateboarder. I, I fell prey to drugs and alcohol. You know, I was the first skateboarder ever to be endorsed by Gatorade at the age of 14. Uh, at the age of 15, I was designing my pro model, traveling the world with Tony Hawk, had a private tutor that flew with. After that, I ended up in those movies Jackass. Those movies broke box office several times over. And after that, I became a New York Times top 10 selling author. On the flip side of that coin, I found myself in 13 inpatient treatment centers. My mother had lost count, I, I lost count of outpatients and detoxes. My mother bought me a plot. People had taken life insurance policies out on me. I ended up on life support for seven days. My God. Yeah, and that's just a Reader's Digest version. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that fame, with that success, came the lure of drugs. Yeah. Opioid. Absolutely. Tell us about that. Well, the reality is the disease of addiction does not discriminate. Yell or jail, the White House or the outhouse, the results are all the same, and the fact is that one out of five people will be affected. Today in the nation, 174 people will die as a direct result of an opioid overdose. It's worse than the AIDS outbreak. It's worse than World War III. And the sad thing is, is these deaths are all preventable. My mother's a nuclear physicist. My brother's an attorney in the White House who practices pensions and benefits. At the end, I found myself at 35 years old, homeless, walking into my 13th treatment center. My worldly possessions consisted of eight scarves, two jackets, three socks, one stick of deodorant that fit into a bag that doubles a pillow, and four cigarette butts that I dug out of a receptacle, with my mother going to God with one prayer. That prayer consisted of, God, please cure him, kill him, or kill me because I can't take it anymore. When you heard your mother saying that, your thoughts on, on, on having to recover then. Yeah, exactly. I, I said, how did I get here? I, I wasn't the student that put his hand up in seventh grade and said, you know what? When I grow up, I want to be a homeless heroin addict on the streets of Baltimore City selling my body for $40. That, I had goals. I had dreams. I had ambitions. But the disease of addiction is just that, a disease, you know? And it, ha it, it wrapped me up before I knew what to do with it. Because I was so successful at such a young age, before people realized I had a problem, I, they, they thought that like there was a method to my madness. And then when it was exposed and everyone knew I had a problem, it was kind of like I was unsalvageable. I had came too far to turn back. One thing that you said that just shocked me, did you actually have to sell your body in order to deal with your addiction? Yeah. I, I found myself on the corner of Eastern Avenue and Patterson Park selling my body for $40 to anybody that would buy. You know, that's where the disease of addiction takes me. You know, I'm the kind of addict that when I pick one up, I lose the privilege to have choices and options of what I will or will not do for the next one. It's not not personal, it's just business in the game that, that I played called addiction. You have chronicled your life and yes. what you dealt with in this book. Yeah. How do you hope this book will help people out there who may be facing addiction as well? Because the reality is, is I was that addict or alcoholic that was deemed unhelpable or unfixable. You can see it on the internet, you can read it in the books, you can see it in the movies, you can see it on tabloids. So now I work in the drug and alcohol treatment field and people call me directly and they say, Novak, if you can get clean, there's no reason why I can't. Can you help me? There's substance to my story. It's tangible. A little different than a 50-year-old professor reading out of a textbook giving a bunch of theories or hypotheses of what may or may not happen. So I firmly believe I went through what I went through to do what I do now. And you were so, or you are so dedicated to this cause with helping others, you give out your personal cell phone. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want people to understand that I'm as accessible as this microphone in your hand. You know, I don't stand behind barriers or my celebrity status. So if you're out there struggling and you want to find a way up and out of your position, you can personally call me at 610-546-2608. 610-546-2608. The disease of addiction is not a death sentence. You don't have to let your history dictates your future as long as you're breathing it's never too late and for those who are interested in getting your book dream seller where can they find that uh, any bookstore Amazon seems to be the easiest way these days but you can go to Barnes & Noble any bookstore that sells books and do you feel like now your life has purpose I, yeah oddly enough my defects have became my biggest assets Drugs and alcohol were my answer to everything for 25 years. Then they became my problem to everything. Now they're my answer to everything again. I'm very qualified to do what I do, which is work in the drug and alcohol treatment field, you know? 
It's that language of the heart. I get it, man. I understand why somebody would choose to, to continue to get higher drink as opposed to accept help. I seen, I've seen me do it for years. Brandon Novak, thank you for coming on the Isaiah Factor Uncensored. Thank you for uh, being part of the solution, my friend. And, of course, we wish Brandon the best in recovery.